home world, it is not. But I've also been uh, kind of uh, testing out some of the mods. These are the XL, uh, the, the XL assembler and the XL refinery. They're ten times as fast as the full refinery, and boy, does that come in handy. You can also see that I'm wearing this custom character. That's it's called the Snowbot mod, and it's basically like the idea is like you are literally a brain in this metallic cage. That's why you don't need necessarily need oxygen, just hydrogen and stuff like that. So you are technically faster and can carry a buttload of stuff. However, you weigh more and you can easily hurt yourself in terms of acceleration. So I've killed myself like twice, uh, like just slamming myself when I'm like moving resources and stuff like that. Uh, the Dark Star called Dark Star. Why does it sound familiar, Dark Star? What like what's it about? section thrusters I'm gonna probably need more yeah This is the actual legit soundtrack from uh, from the game Homeworld. I forgot how weird it was. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I ran out of super treasures. Look at that. We also need probably thruster components. Cool. Uh, once I get my power back on, oh, it should be good. Oh, cool. So it's like, it's like Repo Man, right? Like Repo Man the musical, not the, the not the movie starting Jude Law. It's like really all over the top, but like it's it's about like yeah. I don't know. Cause I kind of like over the top sci-fi. I haven't seen any in a while. And now that I'm playing Spongies, I might as well. <laughs> you know what? I should just rename this ship the Sandra Bullock. All aboard the Sandra Bullock. Fuck. Uh. Okay, let's put some heavy armor. Heavy! Wow, that's a really heavy battery. Yeah, let's start this. Here. I painted this red just so I know where my reactor is. Just okay. Then the sentient bomb thing rings a bell for some reason. I think I may have seen Dark Star. It yeah, it kind of reminded me like as a not that great version of like um, I don't know if you've ever seen Heavy Metal. That's like a whole like that's you know so like eighties. Uh, style like animation, right? Like from like Ralph Bakashi. It's incredibly campy. Hey, cool. So that's. I'll start off with that, I guess. Whoa, that made me sick. Fuck. 
<laughs> Actually, wait a sec. Alright, so I have enough stuff here. I need, I will need so much shit. Fuck. Okay, let's put some more of this shit here. Cause that's how you build the ship, boys. Alright, let's do this. Uh, nine, two, change out. And some of these mods are really good. I really like this um, orientation mod. There's a lot of like, uh, like, my local uh, blockbuster, no, not blockbuster, uh, Rogers Video, which is like our kind of Canadian version of blockbuster, um, where I could just look at the like a video rental place. I used to care like this. I used to have this stand like where we'd have like this uh, these asylum film stuff, and also we had locally made horror movies, which were like so fucking terrible. But like as a teenager, I'd go out and like rent out the anime section and grab one of those like shitty horror movies. So bad, God. I love it. I remember when I had no taste. There's like yeah, there's a lot of people just like not even doing horror. They were just like, oh, like I really like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I'm just gonna try to do my own version of the Texas Chain Massacre. S uh, Texas Chain Massacre. And I'm like, okay, cool. Like you do whatever you do. And it was also always the most pretentious person ever. <laughs> he used to make horror movies, or he used to have like a video, video camera. Lots of ego, but otherwise all right. Oh yeah, you got a, you got some acting credits going on there. Uh, I got my first acting credit, or no, like just movie credit for like a documentary, where some random person, like when I was in class, like over at school, like hey, he was like hey, I'm sh like shooting this thing about this quarter life crisis idea. I'm like cool. Like, would you like to be a talking head? Uh, I'm like okay. I don't think I'm in the movie, but like I I signed the release. Uh, and I'm in the credits, so yeah. Lol. I think like at that point, like they were just like, oh, thank you for like you know taking the time for like, like literally, like for no money to do this. a lot of heavy plating. This thing's gonna be a, like a fucking truck. God. Eight. Time to mass produce this shit. Production. So, I need a lot of silver. Let's make a couple thousand of these uh, plates. Yeah, drill. Maybe you should make the other version of this drill. Let's see if this earthbreaker drill works. It doesn't have a texture, uh, that's why it's like purple. Because it doesn't have a direct X11 texture. Grinder, welder. Fuck, I do need also a grinder, welder, bot.
man. Formula was fucking great. Tens or welder or some shit for this thing. Yeah, those things are just like more kind of experience than like anything else. Second refinery. That is why I think like some of the movies are shit. Like, yeah, I'll just take three days. I'll film. I'll film a guerrilla style like out of my friends' houses. And like, yeah, that's that's like cool. Like, cause filmmaking is expensive. But at the same time, you should probably spend more time setting stuff up. That's hilarious. Jock football player. Getting typecast, man. You're getting fucking typecast. Right, I'm picking my nose on stream. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm surprised this worked. I was having problems with this thing earlier. I also have a camera here. I have a combat cam set right above the drill. I think I might remove that just for a docking cam instead. Man, this thing's chewing it up. This industrial drill is so great. Oh, okay. Wow, this thing can fit a lot. Nice. Seriously, can't wait to try out this giant fucking drill. Eh, this doesn't look too bad. Most of the engines are sort of coming online. This will be slow to move, but. Ah, fuck, I need to protect the back somehow as well. Can't have the pirates, like, taking out my refinery, and I'll be fucked. 